Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 753. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about the best technology ETFs in 2020. Now, I want to caution you right up front and say it's so easy to try to choose what the best performers are and chase after performance. And I'm going to caution you not to do that. And the reason why is because so much of the technology returns this year are from just a few companies. As I continue to call attention to this, because only a very few companies, Facebook, Alphabet, Google, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft are getting the assets this year. It's just going into a handful of companies. That's driving pretty much all of the return in the NASDAQ this year. It's driving pretty much all of the return in these technology ETFs. So what I would urge you to do is if you're interested in an ETF, Google the symbol and it will pull up the website for the ETF. Then click on the top 10 holdings for the ETF and see if the fangs are the top 10 holdings. And if the fangs are the top 10 holdings, then I would say consider not choosing that as an investment. There's only so much time that five or six companies can gather all the assets until everybody who's going to invest in them has. And it's kind of like musical chairs. They're not going to go up forever. As I mentioned, this happened back in 2000 at the peak of the bubble when we had the four horsemen of the internet instead of the fangs. They were nicknamed the four horsemen of the internet and it was Intel, Nokia, Microsoft, and Cisco Systems. And those four companies got the majority of the assets until the market peaked and they went down 70% just like everything else. So that's why I want you to be really cautious and do your homework before you invest in any technology ETF. So don't consider this a recommendation, do your research. This is according to Investors Business Daily. It says technology ETFs are trouncing the broader market this year as the coronavirus pandemic highlights the importance of cloud computing and other internet services. They're way ahead over the longer term too. And the point there is that the NASDAQ is up 17% versus the S&P is at zero, is even right now. These are ranked year to date by returns as of July 15th, and they are screened for volume. So that means if there might be something that outperformed these, but if it was too small, it was not mentioned here. They only mentioned sizable ETFs. So the best performing technology ETF this year is the ARC Next Generation Internet, symbol ARKW, up 64.4%. It has a three-year average of 44% and a five-year average of 36.9%. The ARC Innovation ETF is number two, symbol ARKK, up 61.7% year-to-date. It has a three-year average of 42.7% and a five-year average of 32.4%. That is amazing for both of those ARC ETFs. Number three is the Wisdom Tree Cloud Computing ETF, symbol WCLD, up 53.7% year to date. And it does not have a three or five year uh, average as the next four companies also do not have a three or five year average. That means they haven't been around that long. The O-Shares Global Internet Giant, symbol OGIG, up 52.2% year to date. The Global X Video Games and Esports, symbol H-E-R-O, up 46.7% year-to-date. The Vanek Vectors Video Gaming and Esports ETF, symbol ESPO, up 42.5% year-to-date. The ARC Fintech Innovation, 
symbol ARKF, up 42.2% year-to-date. The ARC Autonomous Technology and Robotics, symbol ARKQ, up 39.8% year-to-date. It has a three-year average of 22.9% and a five-year average of 22.6%. The Global X Cloud Computing ETF, symbol CLOU, up 39.3% year-to-date. It does not have a three- or five-year average. The First Trust Dow Jones Internet ETF, symbol FDN, up 27.9% year-to-date. For three years, up 21.7%, and for five years, 20.8%. Then the First Trust Cloud Computing ETF, symbol SKYY, up 24.2% year-to-date. It's up 23.4% for three years and 20.8% for five years. The iShares Expanded Tech Software Sector, symbol IGV, up 24.1% year-to-date. It's up 27% for three years and 23.5% for five years. And finally, the iShares U.S. Technology ETF, symbol IYW. It's up 20.5% year-to-date and up 25.2% for three years and 22.4% for five years. Now these are all as compared to the S&P 500, which is up 0.9% year to date and is up 11.7% for three years and 11.1% for five years. So those are amazing returns, but again, they could be very biased toward the FANG stocks, which might mean that that's not a sustainable return in the future. So do your homework. Don't consider this a recommendation from me. It's just a starting point for you to study and consider these to be extra risky because they are sector ETFs. That means they're not diversified into other sectors. Should the technology sector drop for any reason, these would drop more than average. So just be cautious and understand the risk of what you're investing in. Be sure to discuss it with your financial advisor. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.